Do you have a comic book collector or fan in your life, but you don't know how to incorporate their hobby into your holiday gift giving? Whether you're shopping for Christmas, a birthday, or just because, then this is the video for you. This is the Como Comic Books Comic Collector's Gift Guide for 2021. Let's go. Long before collecting comics was cool and a wide variety of comic book characters were household names, the friends and families of comic book collectors struggled to include the collecting hobby into their holiday gift giving. Some of the questions that would come up are, how do I know what comic books they have? What stuff do they need or want to collect comics? And where can I go to get them a gift that's relevant to the hobby that they love? In this video, I'm breaking down five gift categories that will make you the gift giving hero for 2021. To make it even easier for you, I'm providing links for every item I mention in the video in the description down below. Now let's get into the list. To start off the 2021 Comic Collector's Gift Guide, let's keep it really simple with apparel. Every comic collector or comic book fan has their favorite character or characters, and the most basic way to show your love of a character is to wear them. We're living in the glory days of nerdwear right now, as comic books and comic characters are more ingrained in pop culture today than at any time before. What that means is that the variety of characters you can find on shirts, hats, hoodies, PJs, and socks is greater than ever. Gone are the days when the only way to rep your favorite character was through a questionable looking iron on for your t-shirt or the latest release from underoos. But don't worry, underoos are still a thing, so those remain an option for you as well. The best part about apparel is that it's a very forgiving option, as all you really need to know is which characters are their favorite, and on top of that, there's a wide variety of price points as well. If you're on a budget, a pair of Batman socks is pretty affordable. If you've got a $25 to $50 price range, then you can easily get a couple of Spider-Man items such as a shirt and a hat, or a single premium item like a Spawn licensed hoodie. The sky is the limit here and the variety of options is vast. If there's anything that every comic collector needs, it's basic comic collecting supplies. Collecting supplies are the perfect option for the gift giver who likes to give practical gifts. At the most basic level, comics need to be protected and stored correctly. So for most collectors, the need to protect their comics is met through bagging and boarding their comic books. Comic book bags and boards come in a variety of sizes to accommodate the change in size of comic books over the last 90 years. My recommendation here is to go with Silver Age bags and boards. Silver Age bags and boards will fit the majority of comics that have been released in the last 60 years, so you get a bit of leeway. There are a few variations of bags available. Some come with a built-in adhesive strip to self-seal the bag, while standard bags will require tape to secure the flap. After they've protected their comics with bags and boards, the next step for a collector is to properly store them in comic storage boxes. Comic boxes also come in a variety of shapes and sizes. The gold standard for a comic storage box is the long box. A long box will hold between 250 to 300 bagged and boarded comic books. The downside of a long box is that they require more space to store and tend to be rather weighty when full. So if the comic collector in your life needs a more compact or lighter storage solution, the short box is the way to go. A short box will hold between 150 and 200 bagged and boarded comics and will typically weigh around 40% less than a full long box when it's at max capacity. In our next category, we'll cover some more premium protection and storage options. If we're just meeting, my name is Drew Stewart and I'm the owner of Como Comic Books. On our YouTube channel, we bring you the best tips and tricks to take your comic collection to the next level. If you've been getting value out of the video so far, be sure to hit the like button. Basic comic book supplies are the foundation of comic book protection and storage. However, there are many more elaborate or advanced protection and storage options available. When it comes to protecting your comics, the best materials available in the hobby today come from E. Gerber. Those are MyLite's and Fullback backing boards. My personal preference is the MyLite 2's, as I believe they have the best balance of strength and flexibility without the annoying crackling of the thinner MyLite Pluses or the unwavering rigidity of MyLite 4's. Those things are hefty. 
My light bags and full backboards come in a variety of shapes or sizes to best fit your needs. My default size for my own collection is the silver and gold size, as they are big enough to accommodate my Golden Age books, but offer enough space to allow me to cleanly and safely store Silver Age books and newer comics as well. The Mylar used to make the Mylites will make any comic put inside of it look better, and the acid-free full backboards offer the best protection of any board I've ever used. In addition to that, my light twos and full backboards are archival grade and will not require replacement like a traditional bag and board will. If the comic collector in your life collects graded or slabbed books, then also be sure to check out the legal sized my light twos, which are perfect for graded comics. And speaking of graded comics, the cases are larger than what a standard comic book box can accommodate, so a specialty storage box for graded comics is a great gift item as well, as most local comic shops don't stock these specially sized boxes, so they tend to have to be special ordered. Other premium storage options include licensed boxes, which feature artwork on the outside of the box, often of fan favorite characters or classic covers. What Walking Dead fan wouldn't want a Walking Dead box to store their Walking Dead comics in? If you're looking for a heavy duty storage option, then check out the BCW comic book bin. I see many collectors in the hobby use the BCW comic bin for their best books, as the hard plastic bin offers greater protection when compared to the standard cardboard comic storage box. On top of that, the comic bin is stackable, it has a sliding lock mechanism, and a built-in partition that will allow the collector in your life to adjust the size of the storage area as their collection grows. Available in short box, long box, and graded comic box sizes, the comic bin is a great new storage option. Last but not least, one of my absolute favorite collecting accessories, let's talk about the store folio. A simple box with Velcro or magnetic closure, the store folio is the perfect companion for a trip to the local comic shop or your nearest comic convention. I never leave home without mine if there's even the slightest chance that I will be picking up any comics. The store folio comes in two sizes. There's a comic book size and a magazine size. My advice here, go with the magazine size. It's large enough to accommodate the silver and gold sized my lights we talked about just a minute ago and is deeper than the comic size store folio, which means that you can hold more books in it. However, the comic size store folio comes not only in black, but there's also a variety of design options available if you want to personalize your gift a bit more. Don't forget that you can find links in the description below for all the items covered in this video. What good is having an awesome book if you can't show it off. Another great gift option for comic collectors are comic book displays. Displays give them the opportunity to get their favorite books out of the boxes where they can't be seen and out into the world where they can be enjoyed in a safe way. Our first display item is the BCW Showcase. The Showcase is a two-piece display option that acts like a clamshell with a clear front and a black backer that fully encloses the book while it's on display. Showcases are only for raw comics, so if the collector in your life is looking to display graded comics, you may want to check out our next item. Our next item is the Comic Mount from Collector Mount. Comic Mount is a simple design that allows for securely mounting a book to the wall. Additionally, it can be converted into a stand that is perfect for displaying a book on a shelf or other horizontal surface. Comic Mount is adjustable, making it compatible with both graded and raw comics and magazines. And finally, our last display option is the original way to display a comic book on the wall, a picture frame. But this isn't just any regular picture frame. This is the Coin Comics single comic book frame. That's right, this is a frame that is designed specifically to display a comic book. Additional items that we recommend for collectors can be found on the Como Comic Books Amazon Influencer page. Be sure to check out the description below for a link to the page. To close out the first ever Como Comic Books Comic Collector's Gift Guide is something we can't recommend enough. Support your friend or family member's local comic shop. If you know where they routinely buy their comics, stop by the store and chat with the owner or workers at the store. They may be able to give you insight into what interests your friend or family member has. The LCS crew may even know what books they've been looking at, talking about buying, or wishing they had. If the LCS crew can get you that inside information, then you're all set. But in the event they can't help you out in that regard, you're still not out of options because most LCSs sell gift cards or gift certificates. 
a gift card to their LCS is a great way to support not only the local shop, but also to provide flexibility with your gift giving as your loved one can pick up whatever they would like with the gift certificate you've purchased. Another way their LCS can come into play is through their pull list. A pull list is a list of new releases that a comic shop will hold back for customers as they are released. Paying for the contents of your loved one's pull box will not only make the store owner happy, but will provide a nice surprise when your loved one walks in expecting to come out of pocket to pick up their new books on their next stop. Thanks for checking out the Como Comic Books Comic Collector's Gift Guide. I hope you were able to get a few gift ideas for the comic collector in your life. If you got value out of the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more comic book related content. Connect with us on Instagram for additional content at como.comic.books collect responsibly, and I'll see you in the next one.